Sneakerhead and basketball enthusiasts, this is The Only Land, and I am here with you to talk about the Kyrie Sixes. Uh, no, they haven't dropped, but um, we got some previews, and I know it's fucking late, but uh, I've been busy. As you can see, I am back home in my sneaker room, or my sneaker slash daughter room. Um, if I sniffle a lot in this video and I can't edit it out, it's because I have the flu. Here's the Theraflu. I'm sick. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, shout out to uh, Casey Athena. She's like a, uh, a sports photographer. And uh, she got a bunch of photos of Kyrie Bolin, I guess, during the summer and like runs in the new Kyrie Sixes. Uh, they're okay. I don't know, they're weird. I think they're weird looking. I also think they look a lot like the Kyrie Fives and they just put on a uh, put a strap on it. So if you look at it, it's uh it's just a regular black and white colorway. Please God don't let them release a black and white colorway as the first colorway again. I feel like this is like a thing that Nike does now. They're like, here take this basic ass colorway as the first colorway and then we'll figure something out. Or they release it as like the second colorway and that's like the first image that comes out. So you saw like the the KDs, they were supposed to come out with the 90s and then they came out with the uh, the black and white colorway first. And then literally the second colorway of the, the, uh, the Zoom Freaks was a black and white. Like so basic, they can do so much better. Nike do better. Um, yeah, they literally took, I feel like they literally took the Kyrie 5 and they took off the uh, the fly trap, which by the way, you didn't even try. <laughs> like you did one try on the fly trap and was like, yeah, we're good. Well, uh, we'll go back to the strap. And then uh, they took it off and literally put a strap on it. The the th the thing that I think is weird though is the side panel. So if you look at the side panel, one, it looks like a um, it looks like a Yeezy side panel, like one of the old Nike Yeezy side panels. And now that I think about it, the heel looks like a Yeezy heel also. It looks like they took the, the side panel and the heel from a Yeezy and were like, here, let's stick this on a basketball sneaker. Um, we haven't really gotten any information in regards to like Kyrie talking about the sneaker, like the inspiration for the sneaker. But you gotta think like Kyrie looked at some Yeezys and was like, just steal some off of this because that's exactly what it looks like um i'm not a big fan of like the separated side panels because that's what it looks like like the panels on the heel look like they're separated from the actual shoe kind of like um kind of like the uh the panels that they had in the forefoot of the uh of the pgs uh not a not a big fan because you can't can't ever get it as tight as you want because it has like a restriction. But that's enough of the uh, the panel there. Going back to the uh, Kyrie's, I'm trying to figure out what that, what that uh, traction looks like. I know I've seen it, obviously it's got, it's got the Hamza or whatever you call it, it's got the Hamza eye on the, um, on the sole, like the forefoot part of the sole. But that like shark-like traction, I think that's, I think that's the Kyrie 4. I would take it out of the box, but I'm not going to do that because it's a whole pain in the ass to do that. Carry for outsole. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's the it's the it's the Kyrie four outsole, except like instead of that large space that they left in the middle, they kind of just like formed it back up together and then they put like one piece in the front in the forefoot of the uh, of the outsole. I don't. It's like multi-directional and I don't know if I'd like it. Um, obviously you can see Kyrie's signature. I assume that's his signature at the bottom there. But I don't know if that's gonna work very well. It's just, I feel like they try to do too much. I feel like now they try to just do too much storytelling. Like storytelling unfortunately doesn't always work when you can just stick to the basics. There's so much other storytelling you can put into the shoe. Like they just did the, um, or recently did the SpongeBob. They did a lot of stuff for Kyrie's line, and specifically Kyrie's line. If you look at all of the other um, lines that are out right now, the only one that even comes close to doing as much storytelling, like on the uh, on the actual shoe, I would say is probably LeBron. 
Um, they have PGs where they're doing like, I feel like they've already done like three Nassau colors, colorways of the PG. Storylines are boring, the shoe's not that great. Um, the Greek freaks actually do have a lot of storytelling to it, so that's not necessarily that true. But I feel like for the peak storytelling in regards to like uh, the sneaker itself, I feel like Kyrie and LeBron have that market like cornered for Nike. If you look at it, the outrigger, it goes up a lot higher and it has like like lines, which is weird to me. I don't think I've ever seen a sneaker do anything like that. And I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Like I get the concept of it because if you see, oh my nose is squeaking. Jesus. You see uh, like highlights of Kyrie, when he's making quick moves, there's port sometimes where his sneaker will land like completely on its side. And I see like maybe where that traction will hold him up, but I don't know how that's gonna gonna perform. Um, obviously, these are just sneak previews. This is crazy, man. Obviously, these are just sneak previews. Um, you don't know if he's playing in um, samples or what it is, so we don't exactly know how the sneaker is gonna look on release. But you can assume that it's gonna look pretty much the same. Um, or pretty close to the same by the time it comes out. Uh, maybe with like a small tweak here and there that you can't really see. But the assumption is that this is going to be the final piece because a lot of those sneakers are like, st a lot of the sneakers for next season are um, starting to come out and either starting to come out or you can see uh, previews of them already. Like the LeBron I think comes out next month. I think that's it, man. I think that's it. It was just a quick talk about the Kyrie's. I hope I pressed the record button. I don't really remember. I did. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, do me a favor. If you like what I'm talking about and you want me to, want to see me review the Kyrie sixes, I'm going to do it anyway, so I don't care. But <laughs> hit me with a comment down there. Uh, like, dislike, whatever you like. Just interact with me. Um, but this is the only land, and I'm out of here. Have a good one.